that when we're running out of the four addresses, you have to deploy V6 at some point was the theory. But you can't just turn off V4. You have to keep V4 running while there's other islands of V4 only that your users might want to speak to. So let's look at the V4 networks at the moment and see if we can measure the number of users per V4 address. Now, in a lot of countries with NAT deployments, it's certainly more than one. The average rate of sharing might be one or two or even three. The highest is actually in Nigeria, where some ISPs appear to have more than a thousand users for each IPv4 address, which is really packing them in. But again, in Nigeria, there's no V6. So even these, these areas which have incredible address pressure in V4 and are really making V4 work very, very hard, aren't necessarily immediately jumping into 6. So what does all this mean? Um, the drivers for V6 aren't uniform around the world. There's no, well, if you're in this particular situation, it's highly logical you should deploy V6 because in every single case, whether it's rich or poor, rapidly growing or not rapidly growing, whether it's sort of address pressure through users you know, behind NATs, none of those kinds of things have a tight correlation with deploying V6. It almost seems like the drivers for V6 are different. And we're not quite sure we understand that. And that then leads us into this kind of answering the original question, what's happened to our up and to the right curve? Why has it slowed down? And like some things on the internet, the true answer is we really don't know yet. We're looking, but we just don't know. So more later, I think, is the best way of describing this. We're hoping that this is merely a temporary hiatus and that the growth will resume, obviously. But right now, we're not sure why it's a temporary hiatus, we're not sure how long it's going to last, and we're not sure what the drivers are. But one thing is true, if the numbers are going to shift, then it's the large population centres that are going to have to shift. And around this area of the region, we are looking at China. That's the one place where there are hundreds of millions of users, and the V6 deployment is difficult to see clearly. So we're spending a lot of time and effort right now trying to improve our advertising and our measurement optics to see if we can get a closer look inside China to get a better insight to what's happening there.